Hi. <laughs> Sorry, I was sending the message. What's going on? This looks different. What is happening? Maybe it's not different. It feels like it's different. All right. There we go. Sending out some shares. Um, some of you guys might already be in here. <laughs> A starfish. Yes. Let me get my iPad up so I can raise this up for you guys to see it a little more. This is a 12-inch guy, so he's big. He's a biggin. Profile. Inbox. There we are. Hello, hello. All right, well, we might keep them this area because this... Uh, but my camera is getting in the way, so there's really not too much I can do. Okay, so what do you guys think of this? Do we love it? Do we hate it? Um, I, I was trying, I have to paint a seashell for a custom order. So I was just kind of winging it. So hopefully, here, I'll let you guys look. There's glitter. Hopefully she likes it. Anyways, the colors. So mostly like golds and tans and stuff, but we have some pops of like some more neutral-esque pops of color. I did, you wanna see? I finished it this morning. I actually didn't paint anything last night like I thought I was going to, um, but I finished it. Hold on, can I go up higher? Yes. It's done. So it just needs a resin coat. Um, Got to find a, a thing to put this in that's big enough. But yeah, he's so big. I have to, like, uh, my camera is almost as tall as me right now. Like, it's basically at eye level just to get this all in frame. So yeah, he's a done. Just chilling. Thanks. Okay. Wait, he's sick? Nah, -uh. what do you mean, Kayla? Is he okay? I didn't know that. I definitely feel like we need one more like kind of tan color. I am on a live. Hello. And then we have gold. No. Poor Bubba's. That, that's always, like, the hardest part, especially with, like, the big dogs. I didn't know that. Damn, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for that. Kayla, did you want white in this, too? I think you said you wanted white, didn't you? We're gonna do white anyways. <laughs> okay, so these are the main, like the, the main body of the starfish. And then for like the pops of color, we'll add like, you know, the blue and like the pink. Um, did we want that green color? Where's that green color? Hold on. Was it this one? Was it these? Do you like this blue better than than this one? Oh, 
All right. So we'll just do this then. We won't, we won't like add too much of like the other colors. So we'll just leave those. And then we have like, you know, the glitters and stuff like that. So. Okay, here we go. Gotta like move everything. Yes, 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 yes. The glitter will have to be top dots on one of the colors just because they just won't show up otherwise as well. So we'll put those as top dots, but these will be all like the base, the base dots. And then we'll do some fun colors out here. Do you want these to be like pink? Oh, I don't know. Okay, whatever. We'll, do, we'll start with the middle first. Oh, thanks. Thank you, thank you. Yes, sounds good. No, you're fine. So, I don't know if it's... Hold on. One sec. Can you see, like, the gold? So, it's kind of like a rosy pink, but then it has, like, that, that gold shift. If you don't like it, we can change it. No worries. Just let me know. It's not hard to change it, so I can easily... I can easily switch it out if you think it's too dark. So we have a lighter pink shift, but it doesn't shift gold. It has like a a kind of like blue to it. It's kind of hard to see it. But it's got like a more of a blue, a blue shift than the gold shift. We can try and lighten it up a bit. Maybe add some like a uh, pearlizing medium. That might work. Because we can keep that gold shift potentially. Where is my pearlizing medium? I don't know if you like this, but I'm definitely going to like mix this color and use it eventually. Wow, that's so pretty. Okay, I don't know if you can I don't know if you can like see it's not well, there you go. You can see that shift. So, do you like this one or do you want this one? Okay, perfect. 
Sweet. Oh yeah, that's really, that's really, really pretty. OMG. All right, so. Sweetness. Good, I'm glad you want the one that I just mixed because that one's like pretty as hell. All right. It's good. You don't want it any lighter than that. No, you're. It's fine. It's totally fine. Oh yeah, it's a lot lighter. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot lighter. It's way prettier. It's your. It's your thing. You know what I mean? Like you're paying for it. I want to make sure that you get your colors right. And so, like, you, it, my light doesn't show the shift all that wonderfully, but it is a lot lighter. Cool. So basically half and half of the pearlizing medium to the color shifter. Yeah, it's real pretty. Might have to put that in a little paint pot. Oh, me too. Me too. Because the gold shift is what it is what makes that pink like so freaking pretty. The color shifts, um, I like all of them, but the ones that have the gold shift are so much better. Oh, I know. Ooh, I wonder how that one looks if you lighten that one up. Ooh, if you put the if you if we put the pearlizing medium in that one, we're gonna have a whole new like color range. Who needs those shitty pastel ones of the color shift line? Just add some pearlizing medium to the ones that you already have. Um, okay, yeah, I'm definitely gonna like mix a bunch of them. <laughs> those would be so pretty. Yeah, like I wouldn't need to bitch about the consistency on the pastels. You just use the colors I already like and mix it with some pearlizing medium and they would look so, so pretty, right? As if I don't already go through too much of my pearlizing medium as it is. Like I go through a lot of it. I'm probably on my like probably fourth bottle of pearlizing medium. And I, what, I only got it like over like the winter time, I think. I think that's when I discovered it. So I go through quite a bit of it. It's like my go-to thing if I want to make a like a metallic-y kind of color. I'll just mix that in with some regular paint.
Gotcha. So I'm still trying to like figure out the, the middle a little bit. Cause I don't want it to be too mandala-esque. That's not what we're going for with this. Um, so it's deco art pearlizing medium. This shit is fire. Um, I think I get this at Joanne Fabrics. I don't know if, the, I, think I, I think that's where I get it, but they might have it at Michael's. I don't think they have it at Hobby Lobby though. It's just plain pearlizing medium. It doesn't add like any like like color shift to it. It's just like a pearly white. And it lightens up any color you 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 add to it though. So just like be aware of that, but it is really great when you want to kind of make like a metallic color out of a color of deco art that you already have. You're welcome. Of the pearlizing medium? Really? I'll have to see, they, that must be new. Because the only like eight ounce bottle of deco art stuff they have besides like regular paint is the um, the like the Dura Clear like high gloss varnish. So I'll have to check the next time I go and see if they've like added some new stuff to it. Because if that's the case, then I'm just going to buy a big bottle because I go through so much of it. Thanks. I'll have to look. Thanks for the tip. Thanks. I appreciate it. Yeah, TikTok doesn't let you send pictures. So I always say if you need to send me a picture, do it on Facebook or Instagram. Doesn't matter which. Just let me know which one you send it to. <laughs> so I know which one to look for. Hey. Um, steadiness comes from practice. <laughs> I never had a steady hand at all. Um, but the more I do it, this, it just gets a little bit easier. I think, I think confidence, um, has a lot to do with it as well. Um, the more confident you are, you just, you're not shaky, you know, you're not nervous about it. Really? Uh, I guess maybe that, maybe, yeah. I can see that. Oh, I dipped it in the wrong color. That's not tan. That's white. Not to worry. Well, some, some can be a little weird. Um, some of the newer ones are a little bit thinner. Um, but are yours too thick or are they too thin? Try giving them a real good shake. 
because sometimes that's that's all it needs is it just needs shaken up a little bit because they've been sitting. There are a couple that are a little thin, um, but most of them aren't. Um, like there was a white for a while that was like water and I was like, what the heck? Um, and it must have just like been a bad batch, I, I think. Um, but there are like some of the new ones like strawberry, um, fuchsia pop, like basically the new line. A lot of the, not all of them, but a lot of those ones are watery. But yes, yeah, as Sharon said, you, you can add a mixing medium to them to kind of make them a little bit thicker for you if you need to. Um, so that has to do with the amount of paint that I'm starting with on my tool. Uh, it also has to do with the amount of pressure that I'm using whenever I am like doing the walking dots. So like whenever I'm walking my dots, if I'm trying to get like a long, if I'm trying to get like a long line of them, I will like basically I kind of scoop. So I have way more than enough paint on the edge of my tool. Um, Oh, let's just do it on this swoop. And so like I'm not really pressing. I'm letting it kind of water droplet off. And then as I'm trying to go longer, I start to press. But the first nice, I don't know, handful of them are just like the extra paint that I have kind of dripping off the, the tip of the tool um, and not me like pressing down into the canvas, if that makes sense. So like I'm literally just water dropping it. The tip is not is not touching yet, but now I want it to touch. So I'm just, you know, blah, 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 blah. I hope that helps. Maybe you'll get some longer, some longer walking dots that way. Sweet, let me look. Oh yeah, that is a big boy. Well, I'll have to look in my Hobby Lobby because I don't know why um, I, I didn't see my I didn't see it at mine. But I also haven't looked for it, so next time next time I go, I have to um, I have to go on a paint run soon. Anyways, I have to pick up some paint for Jennifer, but I also have to buy some more black paint. So definitely need to go to the Hoblob, probably Thursday. <laughs> oh no. Well, you since you're newer here, um, and I don't think that you know that I do this, if there's ever anything that you need that you can't find, let me know. I'll pick it up for you. And then literally it's just pay like whatever I paid for it and shipping. So like... I, I do paint runs for people and, you know, things like that. So if you ever need anything, and that goes for everyone, like, I'm, you know, I'm willing to be your paint dealer if you can't find certain colors or your craft store is too far away. <laughs> Thanks. What's up, what's up? Yeah, I, I hey, I pick up yarn too. I've done that. <laughs> I don't know if uh, Lisa's still in here, but I've, I've bought Lisa some yarn before. So, you know. Have fun. 
Yeah, so the Helix uh, Circle Tools. Um, so I have to crunch a little bit of numbers, but it's definitely going to be less expensive than like, it's not like the Circle Tool, like the, the round one isn't going to be $12 like it is on Amazon. I'll tell you that much. So I think, I think for both of them, um, as long as the math works out, it's going to be around 15 bucks for both of them plus shipping roughly. I have to just double check the math, but you know, yeah, let me know. I will listen. I have a shopping addiction that I don't want to act on. So if you guys give me money to buy stuff for you, I will totally happily do that because it's still scratching that itch, but I'm not actually spending my money. You know what I mean? Personal shopper. Yeah, Mel, um, I think that there is at least one other person that wants the long one. I think Lisa wants the long one. So I'll split that and you can get the round one. Lisa can get the long one. So that's the only way I'll split them up is if people want certain ones and I can make it an even split. <laughs> right. <laughs> I love shopping for kids clothes. I love I don't have kids. I don't want kids, but my friends kids i'm like that aunt that will go and get them clothing but not like ugly clothing you know like my 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 great aunt she always gave me clothes for like the holidays and they were always hideous like no i get the cute stuff <laughs> hold on one two three four five They're so cute. And like one of my friends has a boy. My other friend has a girl. So I can like get both. Uh, okay. I think that was 50. Yes. Whoop, whoop, 50. Baby shoes and socks. <laughs> no, I get it. I totally get it. I like to shop on like a theme as well. So I'll always be like, you know, what's he into right now? And like, if it's like dinosaurs, like I'll do like a bunch of like cute dinosaur stuff or like right now he's like baby shark. Like he loves baby shark um, and, and dinosaurs. So I'll usually do something like that. But um, I got um, corduroys for him one year because his dad wears corduroy pants and I just thought it was funny. So I got him like a matching pair of corduroy pants and like a really cute little flannel. <laughs> oh, well this, I already prepped this. Um, I didn't make any circles um, on live today. I kind of mapped this out earlier today so that I kind of had a, a little bit of a plan as to like where I wanted to go with this paint wise. So this one I did not do on live. Um, really all I did was I, I like basically tried to find my center as best as possible on this. Then I kind of drew out these little teardrops and then I made a circle on top. And then I took this, um, this round tool and I just used like these circles and I kind of like placed it you know, here, and then I drew a circle, and then I moved it and kind of found where I wanted the smaller size to go, and then I just kept kept it like that. So I kind of non-traditionally used the circle tool for this today. There really wasn't too much real circle, circle drawing, but...
Thanks. Trying to just think kind of how I want to do this. So I think in the center, I'm going to cluster dot. And then the center will be all gold top dots. Like, like glitter gold top dots, I think. I think that's how I want to do it. I'm excited to see how this turns out because um, I've kind of been, I don't want to say avoiding painting a starfish, but I typically don't usually paint a piece like non-mandala style if I can't kind of envision how I want it to look. And so for some reason, I was kind of struggling figuring out like what direction I wanted to go with the starfish. So I'm really excited to see the end result of this because this might make me paint some other ones a little bit smaller because this guy is 12 inches I don't usually do them this big uh this is a custom order um so might be good to make them smaller but we'll, we'll have to see so um I use acrylic rods, acrylic dowels. Um, they're just like another type of dotting tool. Uh, they come in eight different sizes. So like this one is huge. It's nice and flat on the top. Um, but it, they, they range in size from like that fat to like this skinny. There's, there's eight of them. So six in between sizes. Um, and so I just, I use that um, instead of them having like a ballpoint tip like these do. These, they're just flat. So you have to go straight down um to get like a nice circle um but i usually load up my paint quite a bit on those especially the bigger that the 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 the, the, the dowels are um more paint less pressure and that's how you get like really nice like bigger bigger dots If you don't have enough paint or you're using too much pressure, you'll kind of get like partial dots or like wrinkly dots, you know, not nice, rounded, plump, smooth dots. Um, you can always go back over them, though, if the first time you use it, it's not like a nice dot. You can always just like add more paint. But in general, going in with more paint at the beginning will help with that. You are welcome. We are painting a big starfish, um, but it's all going to be like more cluster dots. It's not going to actually be like too much of a mandala style. So um, like basically everywhere that doesn't have these dots are just going to be a bunch of different cluster dots, a um, bunch of different, not a bunch of different colors, but a bunch of like shades of tan and um, stuff like that with a couple pops of color here and there. Um, some glitter top dots and uh, yeah Thank you. 
So basically, um, my favorite way to dot paint is like to do these cluster dots, um, not the mandalas. I mean, I like doing the mandalas, but um, cluster dotting is fun because in my opinion, it allows you to be a little bit more creative because um, you're not confined to like a circle design. You know what I mean? You can kind of more so just color in with dots. Um, and so, you know, I just, I kind of prefer it sometimes. Um, I also say that this is like a good way to kind of like get into dotting as well. Um, especially because doing the patterns can be pretty difficult. And there's just like a certain, like there's a few kind of tips and tricks and just parts of dotting that you need to kind of not master, but feel comfortable with. Um, that would be like making dots, um, having nice looking dots, you know, trying to avoid your dots running together as much as possible, you know, some swooshes, things like that. So those are like your kind of like standard parts to dot art, no matter what you're doing. Um, and this way will really help you learn your tools, learn your paint, learn how much pressure to use or how much pressure to not use. Um, so that you can just practice your dots and then, you know, eventually you'll get it down and you can transition into actually like doing patterns a lot easier, at least in my opinion. I think that it, it's definitely helpful. Let's see, Sam. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. You need to get a book? Yeah, I'm sure there's books for it. Honestly, I think that watching and asking questions is a little bit more helpful. Watching tutorials and and things like that, and just kind of like getting hands on and, and getting the techniques down. Oh, oh no, I thought my finger felt wet. No worries. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, why, why does the side of my finger feel like that? That's an easy fix. Nothing too crazy. All right, Sam, I'm trying to uh, get to <laughs> try. It. Oh, there it is. I was like, where? They're not Sam. Hold on. Oh no, that person just needs removed from the group. That's all. Yeah, that person just needs removed and blocked. Um. Now I'm trying to find the picture for something else. There it is. It wasn't loading, I think. Wait. Sam, did you say you sent me a picture? Where did you put it? So, you know, in groups sometimes just like people post spam stuff. That's all it was. There it is. Okay, it's coming through now. Ooh, pretty. Hmm. 
What do you need my opinion on? I think they're beautiful. Eh, we might just take off that entire that entire dot. Because he's being problematic. Smooth them out just a little bit. I I think it needs a little bit like on the edge somehow. Because maybe it's the yellow background, but it's like my eyes are just going to that. It's just yellow. And I feel like it needs something to fill that space in just a tiny bit. Here, I'll show you guys. All right, there we are. I noticed that we were frozen. Sorry. Um, I think if you just did uh, the dots around the edge, like just one row, and then where is instead of like doing well, this is kind of what I'm trying to get at, but I guess not really. So don't do like these little guys. I mean, you can if you want, but like say this is the outer edge, then do like a dot every other one just to kind of bring it inwards just a tiny bit but like you don't need like a bunch of rows of dots just maybe like one main row and then like an every other you know in between kind of dot and maybe that'll kind of help close it up just a little bit sorry my phone was on 5g and i guess or uh, was on wi-fi and it buffered so i had to take myself off of my wi-fi but i think we're okay now I think we're okay now. <laughs> Have fun. I think you can too. I mean, you're just going to use the outer edge as your circle, you know? Yeah, she can do it. Also, I love that pot that you're painting. It is very, very nice. Wow, it's already 7.15. Well, tomorrow, <laughs> we're definitely going to be working on this again. <laughs> I know that. I know that for sure. I mean, we still have about 45 minutes, but we're not going to, we're not going to finish this tonight.
Yeah, I found that if I just use two colors, it lines up. It's I haven't had it not line up. Um, and the only time I've ever used more than two colors was for that like mandala that we did, that neutral kind of mandala. Um, that that just happened to line up perfectly, and we were super lucky. <laughs> For this one, no, um, but what I'll do is if I don't end up using all of the paint, what I'll do is if like if I have to like get up and come back to it later, um, I'll just put a wet, like a damp wet paper towel on top and it keeps them nice. Um, also, you can like put that in like a like a wet paper towel over it, put it in like a plastic bag and that'll help as well. But no, these ones don't have lids. Typically, I use these ones when I'm working on like a big piece. Um, and I know that I'm just gonna like need a lot of like certain colors, if that makes sense. Hello. Well, sometimes you need to add two layers of resin. Um, Almost all the time I need to add two layers or more. Usually it's about two layers, but every once in a while I have to do like three. <laughs> so try one more layer of resin and then it'll probably look better. Did it work for you? It works for me. Um, Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, I don't have, I don't have any like partial resin. Oh, well, yes I do here. The reason that this one is, um, is because I have to add vinyl, so I don't care, but you can see there's a couple dots poking through, um, mostly around the edges, but yeah, you just add one more layer of resin. Yep. 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 It almost always needs two coats of resin. How do I do what this? So this is called dot art, um, and this is paint. Um, so I have a bunch of different sizes of like dotting tools. Um, some of the dotting tools have little like ball tips at the end. Others are more just like rods with flat bottoms. So you dip them in paint and then you just, you know, dot, dot, dot. Takes a little bit of a technique, a little bit of practice, but that's kind of the basic of what it is. So like no paint brushes, well, I'm not using paint brushes. I'm just using like hard tools Then I'm dipping my paint in them. Kind of like the same motion that you would do if you're like rhinestoning something, but instead of rhinestones and a wax pen, it's a dot art tool and paint. And there's obviously less room to mess up because it's paint. You can't just pick up the, the paint and move it if it's in the wrong spot. I just, um, I, I get I just get creative. That's all it is. Um, when you don't mandala, you can be a lot more creative and do things like more picture esque. Um, and so I kind of take I kind of the what I'm doing with this is like I'm basically just coloring in. So I'm doing like a tiny bit of like a mandala, but that's it. Like I don't think I'm doing any more to this. We're just gonna put dots all over this and just color it in with dots. Yeah, you can use um, you can use nails. The nails might be a little too sharp, so you might need to like you know sand down the tip of the nail ever so slightly. Uh, but yeah, you can use nails um, when you're when you're trying to use like pointy things. Just be mindful that like some stuff is too pointy to pick up paint. Um, but yeah, yeah, you can do that with a canvas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can like draw out an outline of something and just kind of go with it. Hey, what's going on? 
Yeah, you can use the back of nails. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen people like use like a pencil eraser and put like a push pin inside the eraser. You know, like the, the pin part goes in the eraser and then the butt of the push pin they use as like a dotting tool. Yeah. You can use like the butt ends of Sharpies and markers. Like when I first started dotting, I would use like the butt end of a Sharpie. That worked really well. Yeah, just get creative. If it makes a dot, then that's all that matters, right? <laughs> all right. Before we do that, I like, I never use this tool ever, ever, ever. This is the biggest one in the set and I like never, ever use it. But we're gonna use it. Well, that's satisfying. And then I'll top dot with a pretty color. <laughs> right? It's like the perfect size. I think I'm just gonna do one of those for now. I don't wanna stick my hand in it. We'll just do these, these two. So the key to using these rod tools when you're using the bigger ones, Oftentimes you don't get like a nice, great, perfect dot right away. You just have to keep loading up your paint and just like adding just a tiny bit more pressure. Just be careful because um, sometimes you can get a little air bubble trapped underneath it and then it'll kind of like poot out the side. You don't want that. So just be really careful, really tiny, slow mo uh, movements and a little tiny bit of pressure and just kind of keep keep adjusting as you go. I use acrylic paint, acrylic paint. So um, if you think of like, if you've ever seen resin artists and they use like some type of like either like a flame or like a heat gun or rubbing alcohol to pop bubbles in their resin, that's kind of the mindset that I'm using with my paint. So. Um, as I'm like dipping my paint or my tools in the paint, I'm making some bubbles just because I'm moving, I'm disturbing the paint a lot. And I don't like to chase my bubbles with, I oh know I'm off camera, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I don't like to chase my bubbles with like a pointy tool or try and pop them. Um, it's easier if I just take uh, the flame and just very like lightly, you know, I'm not touching the paint. Um, the heat from the flame will pop the bubbles, then it won't dry with like little pinholes because the bubbles pop. Um, you've already popped them and so it'll just dry like a nice smooth dot. Yeah, um, mostly, so what I'm looking for is, you, you should wait for it to fully dry, but if you're careful, you can top dot it if it's not fully dry. You just don't wanna see it shiny. When it starts to kind of mat over itself, then you know that the top layer is dry. Um, and so you're not going to disturb the paint if you're careful, if that makes sense. Like, if you look at the ones in the center, you see how, like, they're still kind of shiny on top. That means that they're still too wet. But you can see the ones, like, around it that I did first. These ones are starting to kind of matte out a little bit. There's still a tiny bit of shine, but they're much more matte than, like, that 
big one is, if that makes sense. So as long as you can't see the shiny, you can pretty much try and top dot over it. Obviously, the longer you wait, the better, because if you accidentally press too hard, you might disturb the paint that isn't dry underneath that like first layer. Um, but are you talking about this one or this one? This one is just, it doesn't have enough paint and it's kind of pulling in the center, that's all. So you can just go like that and smooth it out. But sometimes I don't mind because it'll get a top dot anyways. Um, and are you talking about this one? Hold on, let's see. Yeah, watch, watch, just watch. Maybe, I don't know if you'll be able to see that bubble pop, but we'll see. Did you see it? Did you see it pop? Is there another bubble we can pop? Maybe this one? No, that one's not popping. Come on. But yeah, it just kind of helps a little bit. Oh, that's not a bubble. That's just like a paint booger. We're going to bury that paint booger a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, so that's just like a little trick that I like to use. Um, so it dries matte. Um, the acrylic paint that I use does not dry shiny. Um, but this will get uh, a either a glossy top coat or resin. In this case, it'll be resin on this one. Uh, but you can always use a varnish to make your paint shiny again. But yeah, most acrylic paint dries matte unless you get like a, a glossy... Uh, finish or even like a satin finish kind of dries with like a slight shine but I, I like the matte look um, I don't mind it because I always do some type of top coat on top um, and it'll bring back the shine hello hello yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was just um, I was in the middle of dotting and then I was like, well, wait, I need to do I need to do down the arms first. And then I stopped dotting and, you know, it just kind of sat there. <laughs> but honestly, it doesn't really matter too, too much in this stage, because when you add a top dot over it, it, it goes away. Yeah, so you just add a glossy top coat on top because you need to seal it anyways. Um, I would recommend sealing it. And so you can bring back any of the shine of your paints once it dries. Resin will obviously make it shiny, but you can just use like a spray paint top coat, like a glossy clear top coat, and it'll become shiny again. Oh, no worries, no worries. You're here now, so. All right. <laughs> Trying to get a good angle to work on. Those big dots used up most of my paint. Very nicely, there he is. He just needs a resin coat. I need to plug my phone in. Uh, this is a custom order. So um, we FaceTime today and chose, chose the colors. I mean, she told me the color scheme, but um, I picked out colors with her um, on FaceTime. Yeah, lots of big boys. So now we're just gonna um, cluster dot. Um, nope, no we're not, hold on. I have one more step, just kidding. See, I have like a plan in my head and I'm kind of like not really following my plan. Okay, so question. 
Um, do you want like this color? It dries like this, like this one, this darker one, just around the edge. <laughs> I know, right? And then I'll, I'll like top dot it with one of the lighter colors, but just something that's a little bit darker than the rest of the palette that we're using just around the edge to kind of give it that look. Okay, perfect. Sweet. I have them like messaging me on Facebook because um, we don't want like the person who this is for to potentially be watching. <laughs> so I know that the person who ordered it is watching, but they're answering via Facebook. I, um, I did block the person. Uh, yeah, it'll have top dots. Yep. Um, I did block the person that I'm making this for just for like, you know, the two days that I'm making this. But in case somehow they still see my live, we're trying to be careful. <laughs> so... Yeah, so this will just be the bottom, just the bottom color, just to kind of differentiate it. Um, but I'll probably use like one of the tan. Well, I will be using one of the tan colors on top as a top dot. This sounds like the one of the, um, is it from Finding Nemo? Is this song in Finding Nemo or some version of this song in Finding Nemo? I'm really excited to see this. Like, I might have to take a picture of it before I put resin coat on because this might turn into a keychain or like a, a magnet or like a sticker or something. I do that with some of my pieces of art for those of you guys who are new here. Imagine it like a print, but like in keychain form or sticker form, you know. Thanks. But yeah, I wanted to get the outline so that like when I cluster dotted, I didn't go too far over um, and like, you know, run into the area that I wanted to do this outline. So I bet what I'm going to do tonight, if I work on this at all tonight, all I'm going to do is like do this part and then outline it so that it's nice and dry for tomorrow while we're painting it um, on our Wednesday live. So we'll we'll ha we'll get a good we'll be on here until eight so about another half hour tonight, and then tomorrow from two to six ish we'll we'll, we'll at least be painting like for sure two to six, um, and then you know depending on how I feel, we'll see how much is done. It might be you know we might be able to just stretch out the live just a little longer to finish it, or I'll hop off. It depends depends on what I get done. Because, you know, we're, we're show prepping as well. So in between customs, I have to get other things done. But today I got, there are five owls um, under resin right now. I have one white owl that's done um, with purple eyeballs. So we have one white owl, but there are three more under resin. Er, two or three more under resin, and then there's three brown ones under resin as well. So we got a handful of owls in the works. 
Just letting you guys know, because I know some of you guys were kind of waiting for me to get some more owls done. Oh my gosh, hold on, sidetrack. So I got the eyes in yesterday. Listen, I was pissed. Yeah, I'm using wood, yep. Okay, so like, you know I've been struggling to find the 14 millimeter eyes, you know? Well, I finally got some. They look fine, but I ordered different ones for next time. So these are the eyes that I like. They're like nice and flat, you know? There's really not much to them. These are the freaking eyes that got delivered yesterday. So they're like, <laughs> hold on. They're like fat, they're weird. Like I was, I was not expecting it. So I was a little pissed off. I mean, they still look fine. They're just not what I wanted. So I had to put them on the owls that I was in the middle of making because I need them done by Saturday and the other eyes would not be here in time, but I just don't have luck. They do have a lot of dimension, but the thing that I like didn't like the, like didn't really like about them, I mean, they're fine. I'm just being really picky. Um, they look really nice straight on, but I think that they're so domed that like it kind of distorts the eyes if you look at them from the side. And I mean, you're gonna be looking at it straight on anyways, uh, but I just don't like the way it looks from the side as much. Um, so I just ordered new eyes that'll just be here probably in like a couple weeks. <laughs> oh yeah, there he is, big boy. He doesn't look that big, but I promise he's, he's pretty big. <laughs> he's a big guy. <laughs> Tom from Virginia. What's up? Well, I know he has a pug. Miss Maggie. I know, right? So, Kayla, I have to ask, how did you come up with his name? Like, is Boudreaux from, like, anything in particular that you named him that, or what? Can't wait to meet him in June. I'm so freaking excited. I'm going to give him a big hug if he lets me because I love hugging big dogs. Like, it's just like the best feeling ever. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Your ex-best friend's last name. One of, uh, one of my old coworkers, um... I mean, we were all just like buddies. Like I, he wasn't even my work husband. Like I had a different work husband back in the day, but this guy's last name was Jenna, but it, it wasn't spelled with two N's. It, or it was only spelled with one N, but he would always joke around with me and go, <laughs> Jenna, if we got married, you'd be Jenna, Jenna. <laughs> and I just thought it was so funny. Oh yeah. Well, when I heard that, like I automatically thought of like Louisiana, but like I didn't know if like there was some sort of like association with, you know, that and that's why you named it named him that or not. He really is. He's just he looks so so lovely. He's a big baby. He's a big big baby. Definitely a mama's boy for sure. I have another question for the starfish. Um, would you rather the colors like the blue um, and like this green color? Would you rather this be 
top dots or would you rather this be a base dot with like the more neutral tan top dot so you would just see a little bit of like the color as like an outline because the top dot would be covering it if that makes sense let's see what they say gotcha 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 cool 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 Ooh, I can't wait to see it. Whenever I hop off here, I'll have to check it out. They said base dot, but not too many. So we're going to continue filling in with more of these neutral colors. And then we'll put a couple of like the other colors, but they'll be a little, a little bit smaller. Not as many. Yeah, the brush, sorry. The brush that I'm using is an acrylic rod. It's acrylic dowel, so it's flat. Um, it's flat on top. And so that's what I'm using to get these like large dots. Um, basically anything that needs to be bigger than what uh, this, this, this size tool can make. Oh, I have a hair, sorry, hold on. Um, so this is the biggest size dot that you can have with like um, one of the ballpoint tools. So anything bigger than that, I use an acrylic rod. And so obviously this is much bigger. <laughs> so. Hi, Mr. Kenny. What's you in? I don't know if I want you up here because my pots are here and you're going to. All right, hold on. We got to say hi to the kitty. He's saying hi. I'm gonna say hi everyone. Say hello, Mr. Toby Cat. Aw. Stop, you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> They're being really like nice in the Facebook chat right now. <laughs> He's got such a cute little pink nose. I love it. I love it. Alright, bud, listen, I have I have a pot drying. Oh God, he was, he makes me nervous. He just wants to be up close and personal, but like I have so many things just sitting out right now um, in prep for my show that I'm like working on and finishing. Like <laughs> I can't put stuff away. So when he like climbs on things, it makes me really nervous because I'm afraid that he's gonna, you know, be a cat and knock something over. Now he's eating. <laughs> I know. I'm like, mom's busy. I'll hold you later. I mean, you know, dad's going to, his dad's going to be home soon. So he's going to hang out with him all night and I'm going to be chop liver. The cat loves me until my fiance comes home and then they're like attached at the hip. They basically eat dinner together, you know. <laughs> Aww. Oh, everything seemed to be a little bit better though, or no? Well, yeah, I mean, he has some, I have some like trails of paint um, on my floor that I keep finding because he put his tail like right in the middle of what I was painting one time and he just got like a bunch of paint on his tail and I was like, I'm not cleaning that right now, I'm busy. And he walked around and anytime he sat down, and swooshed his tail on the floor while the paint was still wet. You see little streaks of paint on the floor. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so scary. I barely ever use candles. Um, and if I do, I set it like in the middle of my stove away from him. Because out of everything that he climbs on, he does not climb on the stove. So I know that it's, you know, kind of safe there. But... Yeah, I can't have anything really out because he'll just knock them over. Aw. <laughs> I know, you're jealous of Toby because he's just a sweet boy. Like, your cat is, like, the reason why I didn't like cats when I was younger. Because all the cats that I met were not very nice. 
um, they always let you pet them, and then all of a sudden they were like, don't touch me. I'm done. I'm done with you. Don't touch me. But Toby doesn't hiss. He doesn't know how to hiss. Like, nothing. Oh, yeah. Because, like, his tail even would literally just get in the way. That whip. The whip tail. Oh, poor Bubba. I mean, yeah, he's he's a big guy. He's tall. Literally everything will get in his way. And he's just too big, you know? Like, <laughs> even if he knew how to be careful, <laughs> he's just too big. Like, literal, like, bull in a china shop. Okay, that's enough of that. That's enough color. Just a just a tad. Just a tad. Oh, gross. My hair. I'm shedding. So sorry. <laughs> At least it's not food. See, if I'm trying to want, give Toby a bath, he'll just cry um, and, like, maul me. Um. <laughs> But yeah, the only time I've ever heard my cat hiss was when I accidentally stepped on his tail. Um, and I, it didn't even sound like a hiss. Like, I, I knew it was, but I it, he, he doesn't really know how. It's not in his vocabulary. He's too nice of a cat. I guess I raised him too well. I know. I thought about that. I was staring at them uh, one time when I went to the pet store. I was like, I wonder. Because I don't know if this is going to make me sound like a bad cat mom, but he hasn't had a bath in like four years. Four and a half years. The last time I tried and gave him a bath, I tried to give him a bath. He was like, I don't know. I think Scott and I were together for like maybe maybe six months I don't know maybe not even that long I tried to give him a bath and he he clawed me so hard literally like climbed up me and I was like yeah no I'm not giving you a bath anymore <laughs> oh no it's so funny when they growl like you're like what are you doing stop trying to be so scary This is going to look so pretty the more I can get some dots on it. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> right? Like if I had Toby and that was the only cat that I've ever been associated with, I would be like, cats are so nice. I don't understand why people don't like cats. And then I meet, like, actual cats and be like, oh, well, that's why. My cat's a cat dog. We call him cat dog. He loves everyone. Loves everyone. He'll let anyone pet him. He'll purr. He'll greet you at the door. He's a nice boy. Yeah, that happened to me yesterday. I was trying to clip his nails and like he's good with it usually because um, he knows he's going to get a treat after. But for some reason, he wouldn't let me get his last little pinky nail 
I don't know why. I got all nine, like, front front nails besides, like, the one little pinky. And he just, like, wouldn't let me. And so I'm like, fine, you don't get a treat. I didn't get to complete the job. And he still went over to where the treats were and, like, had the audacity to look at me like I was crazy. And I'm like, no, you didn't let me finish the job. If the kitty doesn't let me finish the job, then kitty doesn't get any treats. Sorry. <laughs> Yes, I w sometimes I wish Toby was like that, though, because that's funny. He doesn't usually do that. Like, he's not the cat kind of cla the cat that, like, will sit on the counter and stare at you while they knock knock a glass off onto the floor. Like, he doesn't do that. But I kind of wish he did sometimes because it would just be funny. Just purely because it would be funny, not because I want him to break any of my glasses or anything. <laughs> I didn't. He did not get a treat. I did not give him a treat. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, this color palette's really, really pretty. This will also have like glitter on it too. Whenever it's done, like it'll have some glitter top dots. Ooh, they're gonna be so pretty. Mm. It does look like rocks, yeah. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, no, that's an expensive thing to to knock off a counter. I wanted a I wanted a toilet train Toby, but I couldn't deal with all the like litter and stuff on my bathroom floor. My friend was like toilet training her cat and her freaking bathroom was just covered in cat litter and it was disgusting. And I was like, yeah, I'm not doing that. Not doing that. Yes. <laughs> Oh, that movie was so great. Well, I guess having two bathrooms would help a lot. <laughs> yes, please. Um, so I have a little, uh, mini tutorial, like it's like three, three ish minutes long. Um, I have it pinned to my profile. Um, if you want to like watch that sometime, um, it, it'll give you like a pretty decent, um, quick, short, but sweet, quick tutorial on how I do my resin. Um, it's, it's really not that difficult. It's just, you know, Resin can be a little funky sometimes if you don't mix it the right way. Um, so, you know, you just got to be mindful of that. But yeah, I have like a quick like three minute kind of mini tutorial on how to get a really pretty glossy finish and like the kind of resin that I use and how to mix it and things like that. Thanks. Yeah, I love this so far. What a smart kitty. Yeah, literally cat litter is everywhere. You're not joking. Yeah, don't overthink them. Don't overthink them. Just, just go. You just got to go. 
Yeah, I would not be able to handle it. Too much litter on the floor. <laughs> that is so funny. Oh. Yeah, Toby Toby fell in the bathtub once too. Um, and that's why he's afraid of water now. When he was a kitten, he was a little too curious and uh, fell in the bathtub. And now he doesn't like water. No, you don't have to use resin on cards. I actually would not recommend using resin on like paper or anything like that. Um, I... Has anybody ever painted on like cardstock or cards or anything? Like, would you seal it? Like, I'm trying to think. Like, if I if I would, I don't even know if I would seal it because I feel like it would mess up the paper a little bit. Um, I think I would just paint it and let it let it be. But someone someone, give me their two cents if you've tried it. Hi, Bree. Yeah, maybe like a light, light, like Mod Podge kind of spray coat sealer type of thing. Yeah, you just have to, I don't know. Because you don't want the paper to get any sort of like wet, you know? Because once it gets wet, it kind of wrinkles. Yeah, I should I should get to at least some top dots tomorrow. I mean, we'll be we'll be painting this for 4 hours tomorrow. I'm sure we'll get either all the way through it or most of the way through it. Um so but I I'll, I'll I'll still post like a reveal video though at the end of the day anyways or whenever it's done. This is going to turn out too cool not to show it off. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. It's hard to use paint on on some type of like paper. Even if it's cardstock, it might not be thick enough. Cat hair. Thanks. Oh, yeah, that's smart. I wouldn't even have thought of painting the other side. Yeah, they're trying to, like, do some dotting on cards. They make cards. Like, they're, they, they, they make pretty, pretty cards. So they were going to try dotting on cards. But I really have zero experience of dotting on anything, like, thin like that. Um, I always dot over, like, a hard surface. It is, I know, it's so pretty. I think the only time I'm gonna use this pink again is just on like those gold ones and that's it. So kind of keep, you know, most of it still really, really neutral. Yeah, they do have templates or you could just, um, Use a piece of cardstock, cardstock, put some dots on a piece of paper and, you know, dot and swoosh on that afterwards. Um, you can like laminate a piece of like paper, you know, so that you can like wipe it off if you want. I've seen people do that. But I think there are like dotting practice sheets. 
Maybe I should make some. Maybe I should try and make some. Just add that to the list of things that I want to do. I know, always, so many ideas, not enough time. Yep. Speaking of starter kits, there are three left, but um, after these three sell out, I am changing up um, an item, a tool in the starter kits. Um, some of you guys already have it, so it's not gonna be that big of a deal, but I decided to get rid of the um, the cushions just because I ran out and they're hard to find the ones that fit um, for like, you know, not that much money. Like they just stopped selling them. And so like I have to pay a lot more to get them again. Um, so I decided to add the, um, like this, but a silver version. So if you want the rainbow one, you, it doesn't come in the kit. That's how I keep it fair. <laughs> but it is going to raise the price of the toolkits by a couple bucks. But I, I think, I don't think most people will mind. I don't own a laminator, but boy, do I want one. I don't know what I'd use it for, but I love laminating things. Eight oh one. Oh my gosh, I literally just realized that that video you sent me of your cat playing in the bathtub or falling in the bathtub is literally still playing on loop. <laughs> I like look over to my computer to make sure Scott hasn't texted me yet. Because technically it's Starbucks o'clock, but he's still at work. So we're going to we're going to keep dotting until he tells me that he's leaving. <laughs> right I would I would laminate I would probably make myself like a little calendar um you know so that I could like write down like all the projects that I have going on and when like certain things need to be done and shipped out even though I really don't have any wall space over here but like I would find some some space for it um I would just find random things to laminate He's trying, I hope. They 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 changed a little bit to like the like the the way things work there. Um his store is kind of like piloting a new a new thing. Um so like the pay plan changed a little bit. So it might actually be more beneficial cuz these last few months have been like so freaking slow and we've just been we've been okay, but I've been stressing about money more than usual. And so with this new pay plan, it'll, you know, be a little bit better. Like, he'll have more of, like, a a paycheck that we can count on, you know. Um, but at the end of, like, the trial period, I guess it's, like, going to be, like, until, like, next February, until they figure stuff out because it's just so new. Um, at the end of everything, though, like, he'll have, like, finance um, experience in the car biz. And so with that, he can move to another dealership if he wants to and work in finance. So he's just kind of chilling. We'll see what happens, but it's better than it was. Ooh, what was the idea? Let me hear it. Thanks. Yeah, I'm loving how this is turning out gonna look even better with top dots but we'll have to see those tomorrow thanks <laughs> are you are you just liking too much? Is that what's happening? Mm -hmm. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, that would definitely help help you. Sometimes you just gotta start dotting. You just gotta you just gotta jump in. But I hope that you guys can kind of see how this this particular style may be helpful if you're just starting out. Cause it's um no there's no pattern, you know, really. I'm just kind of winging it and coloring in the spaces with dots. And this is helping me. I mean, I'm I'm pretty good with it now, but if I was, you know, in my beginner days, this specific way would help me just really get all these teeny tiny little dots in here um, without like my dots running together. I mean, there might be a few that kind of ran into each other, but not enough to notice or take away from like the overall design, you know, like it's not ever going to be perfect, perfect. But as long as it looks pretty, that's all that ever matters. You did? Are you going to give them to me in Tumblr Invasion? Did you see my seashell that I painted today, Kayla? It's not a real seashell, but... Well, I sell these swoosh sticks for 50 cents on my website, um, and I also sell metal versions as well. So... But if you don't want to buy them, that is okay. You can always get different things, um, like toothpicks will work. Um, the only thing with toothpicks is that, like, the tip dolls out, you know, over time because it's, like, wood, you know, and you're kind of, like, tapping around on, you know, your surface. So you'll just go through a few toothpicks. But I used toothpicks before I, like, officially, like, got my um, swoosh sticks. Um, you can get uh, quilling tools. So like um, this, I think I got it at Hobby Lobby. It's like a paper quilling tool. Um, you can just sand down the tip just a little bit because it's really pointy. This would work. Um, they sell these at the Dollar Tree. Um, again, these are a little too pointy, so you want to sand them down just a tiny bit on some sandpaper, but these would work really well. But yeah, I sell the swoosh sticks. Oh, yes, I would love to see them because I painted like a fake sand dollar. I haven't finished it. I wanted to paint three of them for my show, but I just haven't really gotten to it. Here's one. Um, I wanted to do some top dots on this, but I have three of them. They're fake, but they're heavy, but they're, they're, they're not real. Um, but I wanted to paint a few of these to, for my show, so like I don't know if I'm gonna get to it. But yeah, all right. So we're gonna stop here because Scott just texted me that he was leaving. Um, so I will see you guys tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we're gonna continue to work on this starfish. Hopefully, we can get it almost finished. If not finished. Um, so the crooked tip tool is, um, like a regular dot art tool, but I bent the tips to make them easier to use. I don't have a teapot. I never dotted a teapot. I dotted a flower pot, if that's what you're talking about, like my flower pots, but no teapots. But yes, I'm about to go get some Starbies. Um, so we'll finish this tomorrow and I will see you guys um, tomorrow at 2 p.m. We'll finish this up for a few hours. Yeah, the bending is stressful work. That's why I sell them so that you guys don't have to do it and break your tools by accident. Um, I sell a bunch of different colors of, of um, curved tools on my website. Uh, but yeah, okay. So yeah, the green and the blue ones, those ones are really hard. Those are usually the ones that I break. Um, those usually snap if you're not careful. Those are typically the ones. Yep. Uh-huh. I know. I've been through it. I've been through it. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna hop off here. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.